Hi guys, it's Lucy and welcome back to another video. I'm hoping you can't hear my mum hoovering. I'm going to just talk really loud and hope I block that sound out. But yeah, um, the other day I asked on my Instagram and YouTube for questions for a q and A. I got quite a few questions and so basically I'm going to split this video into two, make two videos. Um, what the first video is going to be about my degree and then the second one is going to be about me um so yeah so i can kind of split the questions up that way and uh, so yeah i just want to say thank you for all the questions there's blooming loads of them and hopefully i answer your questions uh, so yeah let's get straight on with the video the first question is what's the best and worst part about studying paramedicine i think the best part is doing placement meeting new people and being invited into people's lives it's such a privilege because no one else gets that privilege unless you're doing this job this career you know um and just learning so much about patient it's just amazing to hear the stories and also meeting new colleagues as well um as students we're not also always with the same people so to meet new people learn their ways of teaching their ways of communicating with patients it's I, I love that part of it um sometimes it can be frustrating that you've all of a sudden learnt how one crew works and then the next shift you're not on with them um and it's a completely different way of working but it's preparing me for the future basically anyway so it it's a good thing the worst part I'm going to say is the exams and I think every, anyone would say that for any degree. Um, I do love my practical exams, well I love them in first year anyway, I haven't had any in second year yet, probably won't be saying that um, at the end of this year, but I love the practical exams but they're just so stressful, um, all exams are stressful and yeah it's probably the worst part. <laughs> Next question is pros and cons of the uniform. Pros, pockets, there's plenty of them, you've got them front, sides, back, um, on your coat, inside your coat. Um, if you get a shirt with your uniform, you get pockets on that as well. But yeah, plenty of pockets, fit everything in. I mean, you can carry a water bottle in your pocket if you really wanted to, there's that much room. Um, cons, working in that uniform in different weathers. <laughs> Last summer, I was on shift, steel toe cap boots, you've got your trousers on. Um, even just in the polo shirt, boiling. I was so grateful for a McDonald's frappe that day. Um, and but even in the winter, it's it's not great for the winter either or colder weather. Next question is, what has been the most difficult aspect of the course for you? Difficult, um, I would say, getting my portfolio sorted. Um, I don't know what it is, but I just I just feel so not rude, but I I hate being stood with a patient they could have like a really interesting medical condition or something I've never been to before and I hate that thought of all oh, this would look good in the portfolio I hate that's part of it um so yeah it which makes it really difficult for me to fill the c-pad in um, my portfolio basically um but also communication I have improved with it but you get so many different age ranges that you meet all the time and we go out to elderly quite a lot so you kind of build up a way of communicating with them but then you've got different other age groups that you don't go to as much the next question is where do you want to be in 10 years time so in 10 years time i'll be 30. um i think i just want to be settled i mean i have been thinking about my future in the sense that i have been looking into a master's um there's a master's in, I think it's called major trauma. I think it's, it's literally just major trauma or something like that. Um, that's the only master's that's ever interested me. Um, will I do it? I don't know. I've always said I wouldn't do a master's, so I don't know. Um, it's just one course that I looked at it and I was like, I could see myself doing that. Um, but then you've also got, um, I've talked about it before, I would love to go into heart, so perhaps in 10 years time I could be doing that. Um, I think as long as I'm settled and happy in a station, an ambulance hub or whatever, um, in the job that I love, um, you know, perhaps settled with a partner as well, I don't know. Um, yeah, just settled. The next question is, if there was one thing about being a student paramedic that you would change, what would it be? I don't know if this is about me specifically or about the degree, 
but I think one thing I would change about the degree is even uni students getting them to drive the ambulances as well because otherwise we're doing three years at uni three years on an ambulance but we don't drive it and then we do a quick driver course and then we're expected to drive be a paramedic and everything um so yeah I think one thing to change would be all student paramedics have to know how to drive the ambulance <laughs> but um obviously that has its pros and cons but yeah that's one thing that comes to mind at the top of my head the next question is what made you decide to take the uni route as opposed to the trust student route this is a great question um a couple of things really and in a way I look at it now and I'm like why didn't I do the student route but um, the main thing was me for me was the driving license I got my driving license in December and then started uni in January so yeah um, the other thing is the student route doesn't come around every year like a university degree does and um, the route is very trust route is very varied and when it comes out when the needs staff basically um, yeah it's not it's not a fluent thing of they're going to release places here here and here it's very random so i didn't know when the next time would be for them to release dates um for starting and interviews stuff like that the next thing is they do a fitness test um i have planned over my three years at uni to build my fitness up which i did do in first year but then in second year the student accommodation messed up my gym membership i was supposed to get it free and the gym wouldn't give it me because the uni accommodation hadn't sent details over so i haven't got my gym membership yet and then corona came and then <laughs> um yeah so fitness has kind of gone out the window but um yeah fitness is another thing for me i'm I mean, in other videos, you probably see my arms a tiny. <laughs> Two more questions from Instagram, then I'll move on to YouTube questions. Um, next question then is proudest moment. Um, I decided to put this in this video because I'm going to relate it to my degree. I've got two. <laughs> um, first one is getting that email to say I'd got into uni. Um, I've had by this point one rejection from a uni and then another uni had um, given me an offer for another course so I was kind of losing hope at that point and then I got the email from my uni to say you've got an offer um, so that was definitely a proud moment and then a patient I had in first year wrote a letter in to us to give us a massive thanks for everything we did as a crew and to receive that letter and then following a few days later receiving a letter off the chief to say well done for that praise off a patient pretty amazing feeling let's just say that um so um, then the final question kind of links to a question i've already answered was the west mids um student paramedic program ever an option for you definitely um you're running up with maintenance loan as well you're running up 40 50 grand debt at least with uni um you're not doing that with a uh student paramedic route um, with West Mids. Uh, they're paying you to do the job and taking some money out of your wages for the training. Um, so yeah, it was definitely an option. Um, it just wasn't the right time at the time to do it, I think. So moving on to the YouTube questions. What's the worst fear when you become a paramedic? Um, oh, uh, I, s I suppose drug errors is a massive fear. I think for everyone, you can, you're you doing 12 hour shifts, um, not necessarily getting the best sleep in between shifts. So you have to be so, so careful you're not making errors in the drugs you're giving. Um, and then I think another fear for me is the first time I get a student put on an ambulance with me um, and then I'm the senior clinician, that would, that would just be flipping scary. <laughs> This question, the next question, comes up in every single interview I've had um, for my degree. Paramedics ask me it all the time and I don't know the answer. It's a reason why you wanted to be a paramedic. I, I honestly don't know. <laughs> um, I just decided when I was 12 years old and it just stuck. The next question is actually a really good question. It's, did you ever reconsider because of the paramedic salary? Definitely. Um, when you're looking into your future, you've got to look at funding and finance. You've got to know whether you're going to be able to live off that. Um, paramedics don't get paid enough. Definitely not. Not for what they do. Um, the paramedics I've worked with, they're, they're incredible. They deserve so much more than they get. Um, so yeah, definitely um, paramedic salary isn't the best. Um, 
but it is I've talked to paramedics and it is a, it's a livable salary so yeah um, as long as you work well with your money you save your budget it's doable and yeah it, the, the biggest thing when it comes to doing what I do is actually what debt you're going to get yourself into a student loan next question is as student paramedics do you get to use the radios um, it depends on trusts um, some trusts don't allow you to use the radios at all some trusts are still quite careful on it but at the same time you've, you've got to learn someday so um, I've used it a couple of times um, it's just kind of it's an easy thing to learn so if you've got the choice of I don't know treating a patient or radio in control you're always going to be urged to do the patient treatment because that's a lot more beneficial in a way because radios are so much easier to pick up I guess um, but no I have used it a few times and it doesn't get any easier hopefully it will in the future but at the moment um, but I do have I have used a radio with St John Ambulance as well so I suppose there is that um, but yeah it does vary some students aren't actually allowed to carry radios at all um, probably through fear of pressing the wrong button um, but yeah next question is any tips on how to get over a fear of using needles um, I'm presuming this is to do with giving patient drugs and stuff like that um, personally you've just got to get stuck in and do it um, <laughs> that's what I did um, at the stage I'm at I can do IM injections and I can cannulate um, I remember one of them but I don't think it was my first one I've only done a couple um, and I just you just got to do it um, your mentors talk you through it anyway they tell you how to do it they're great um, yeah cannulation that's a bit more scarier and I think it's because there's more chance of failing with it I suppose and you don't want to fail you don't want to look daft you don't want to look stupid in front of a paramedic for not being able to cannulate but we've all missed I've missed so many I went through a whole shift I couldn't get a single one in and the next shift I got them all in um it's the best thing for me push yourself to do it basically um if you have a fear of doing it you're never going to do it so if you block that fear out just get on with it you'll you'll get rid of the fear the next question is what would you tell your younger paramedic self now I still feel quite young I presume this is for student paramedic I suppose it the biggest thing I'll probably give myself is don't have the fear of saying the wrong thing to a patient because you're more likely to say the wrong thing if you have that fear. So younger self, don't have a fear of saying stuff, you know, I don't know. And then the final question is, what would you say to someone who is considering becoming a paramedic when they are older? Do it. <laughs> uh, get plenty of experience. Um, I did a lot of work experience. I, I did a lot of stuff, but it still didn't feel enough. It's, you know, it still didn't feel enough now. So get plenty of experience and just go for it, basically. Um, if you don't try it, you're never going to know if you like it. And I suppose I had a bit of a fear that I wouldn't enjoy it, but I love it. And yeah, the best thing I ever did. Yeah, that is all questions related to my to my degree. Um, thank you for the people who sent them in. And hopefully I've given you honest answers and yeah um leave any comments and questions down below um ask away and i will see you in a video very very soon bye guys mm -hmm.